Probably. They give you all these medications at 76 to make you feel like you're 39. <laughs> <laughs> Two big glasses of iced tea, let them hold her. I apologize. Not a problem. Yeah. Nope. Uh, next on the agenda is Jackie Hake with uh, Whitley County Transit. Yes, I just wanted to come today to thank you for our continued CEDAT funding and for the increase, which we certainly appreciate. Uh, much needed because they cut us uh, from the public mass transit fund some this year. So I just wanted to personally thank you for that and just give you a brief update. Um, I did send a, a small packet of information right. uh, just to let you know that um, we were 19% more rides in 2011 than we did in 2010 and we're on that path, hopefully increasing that as well. Uh, we just received a 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan modified minivan, so we add another vehicle to our fleet. That was through 5310 INDOT funds and a matching grant through the foundation. So we have that van on the road, and we have two small transit vehicles, hopefully to be received before the end of the year, again through another 5310 van grant, and there was some extra uh, stimulus dollars that we were awarded a vehicle with that as well. So Great. that would bring our fleet to... 12 by the end of the year. Now we may get rid of a couple of the older ones, but sure. anyway, doing well that way. And also to let you know that uh, we voted last week in our board meeting to expand our transit until 6 p.m. So we're going to expand our hours. We have to put uh, an employee in place to cover the hours in the office, as well as possibly hire another van driver or make sure our drivers are willing to stay later because some of them start at 6 or 7 in the morning. So. Okay. Anyway, just an update that everything's going well at the Council on Aging and the Transit. And again, to thank you for the increased seat at dollars, because I know INDOT is happy to see that you support us as well, and that's you know kind of their goal. So right. it's a real win-win situation. So. Well, we appreciate the work that you're doing. Well, thank you. I do have a question, though. Sure. Um, on your expense uh, summary, you've got on 507 is taxes at $34,800. What taxes do you pay through the... That would just be payroll, payroll, fight ah, all of okay. that for, for personnel, yes. Okay. okay, great job. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right. If, thank I, you. if I might ask, uh, sure. yes, Mr. Sure. Chairman, uh, I see here it says total expense must equal revenue, and I know some of it, like our grant and things, but do you have a, a figure that you could give me that would represent the total amount of collected for the for the riders? Oh, from the riders? Um, well, I, I'm trying to, you know, there's nothing on here about income. It's right. all expenses, and then you say mu expense must equal revenue. Okay. I can understand. That was another does sheet. It. Yes, yeah. Okay, I can get that to Jenny, and she can get that to you. Would or, you please? Yeah, yeah. I don't have it off the top of my head, but I know. Okay. Uh, this actually was the if you form could get that, for that their grant have, because I, mean, I know some of it's donations. Right. And donations. I want and you then to know, I very much appreciate you still taking the VA people yeah, to the Fort Wayne Hospital for twenty dollars. Yeah. We made this move three, four, five years ago, yeah. where. The VA people, our veterans, were wanting to go to Fort Wayne, and I think the charge was 30 or $40, and Jackie, with her crew, cut that in half for them. So uh, the only other question I have, and I think we've talked about this before, when you get to new vans, are they in addition to, or are they in lieu of a trade so to speak? Um, normally they're in addition to, actually they, according to the 5310 grant application, it's to replace the vehicle, but we don't really replace it. We just keep that vehicle on the road and expand ours as far as that goes. But when we get to a point where the old ones, because we've got an 05 and an 06 with 260, 70,000 miles on it, eventually when we get these new ones, we'll probably try to to sell those offer to get rid of those and that way our fleet will be newer but we always need at least one or two backups but uh, if those vehicles are running so yeah if if you would get to the point of a fairly decent now I don't mean you know with 50,000 miles or something and uh, looking down the road to help our Troy Center alternate uh -huh. school okay uh, the county I, I hope would be the first one in line 
to maybe buy that because they're having they go all over the county to pick these people up. Okay. They might get one at Chair Bus go. We had one in Costco. That's a lot of expense. Right. What we're trying to do now to cut that down is to maybe have them ride the official school bus to a designated point like the high school here south where they could go and maybe pick up seven or eight at one stop. Mm -hmm. And we would certainly be, community correction would be very, very interested in buying one of those smaller used transit buses that would hold maybe that much. Okay, okay. So just okay. in the back of your mind, if you could keep us active on that, okay. we'd appreciate it. The ones right now available would be more of like the high top. They're not really the, the yeah. square boxy buses, but, but would you but be interested how, in those? How many do those vans hold? Actually, they hold... Ten. Yes, we Ten. would be interested in them. But we don't want a, a wreck where we're going to put more money in. Right. It, but some of them look pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, we maintain them according to you know index standards. Yeah. So certainly, I'd be more than happy to let you know. If okay, I don't know what we have to go through for a nonprofit to get rid of them, but if right. uh, the county, are we we we're not making a profit today. Are we? I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or any other day. <laughs> but keep us in mind. I won't take I, any more yeah, time, but I think wrong. we could work something That'd out. Be great. Thank All you, right. Mr. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner. I appreciate it. Thank you again. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.